mustache. He wanted to get full, but does he only along the way is an alpha male role model? And to the end, well, may I suggest... Well, men will be possibly the most conceptually grounded, epic, an unforgiving exploration of the male psyche to have ever been committed to record in the name of popular music. When conceiving of the idea, we wanted to embrace universal themes of masculinity, things like love, sex, the family, discontent, the past, intoxication, sex, and murder. I think we've got it all covered. It's going to be 111 songs long. That's an number emblematic of three phalli lying next to each other. It will spread over about five hours on four of your compact discs. Wow. That's quite ambitious. Well, thanks. Yeah, it's quite an endeavour, but one I think is worth it. You know, there's very few examples of ambition in modern music these days. You've got the Magnetic Fields with their 69 love songs. You have Suge and Stephen's States albums. And then there's uh, Bon Jovi, Keep the Faith Here, or where he cut his hair off. That was a big deal. You know, and I want to step into that black hole, that void, and fill it with, like, blossoming flowers and volcanic lava and windmills. It sounds, um, beautiful. Well, Ren, it will be. And I'm really glad you came along for the journey with us. Hmm. It's February 2013, and we join Simon and Jonathan in the quiet Marauder home studio as they commence recording vocal takes for the song Pulverize, which features on the Men album on volume one, about 18 tracks in. It's umcha. You've got to breathe the uh and the ah. Uh, oh, umcha. Getting a bit better. Umcha. That is so much fucking worse. Fucking hell, uh, what's wrong with you? We're trying to make a seminal album here, you know? You know, that the good people from the BBC are coming to document my genius. Like, academics will be pouring over this footage, trying to work out how all of this unfurled itself. And you can't even say umcha. It's like, fucking hell. Do you want to be the anti folk cold play? Is that what you want? Because that's what we'll get. That's what we'll get. Umcha bollocks. Simon's very passionate about the band. Uh, he has his vision and sticks to it. And so do we. Do you always uh, agree with the musical direction he wants to take? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, it is his band, after all. Being in Quiet Marauder is like... It's like gaining a family. I've never really had much of a family, so it's nice to have a, a, a mother and a father to look after me. Simon comes upon you, and when he does, it's amazing. But he saved my life. He, he actually saved my life. He, I'd, been, I'd been stabbed right here. I still got a horrible scar. And, uh, and he found me and he, he took me in his arms and he was covered in blood and he drove me to the hospital and, and he, he pulled the blade out himself, even though the doctors advised that was probably not a good idea. Um, but he, he, he's responsible for saving my life. Although he did stab me initially, uh, which, so, you know, there's a, a balance there. <laughs> How would, you, how would you describe the Quiet Marauder sound? Um, sort of like, it's sort of like Sid Barrett on acid after murdering a lot of people. That's how I'd describe it. Top three band of the year? What, them? That's right. Maybe fourth, I don't know. It's April 2013 and Quiet Marauder are to play in Cardiff's legendary music venue Four Bars at Dempsey's. We join them as the band discuss the forthcoming set. We've got pretty girls. And then we got, for fuck's sake. What's the matter? It's a fucking moustache song, isn't it? I'm fucking sick of it. That's all anybody fucking wants these days. It's like the fucking Orville to my Keith Harris, man. I wish I could fly right up to the sky, but I can't. Well, you can, moustache. You can fuck right off. Have we got any fucking paper masks as well? I think, I think we've got a couple from the last gig. Oh, we've got a couple. Really good. Yeah, there's two. Two. Fucking two. Fuck's sake, it doesn't make any sense without the paper masks. So what are we going to do? Matt, come over here. Matt, come over here. I need you to go and get some photocopies of these done, all right? You need about 50. Just take it from the band account, but make sure you get a receipt. Why me? Well, I can't go, can I? We've got those cameras talking to me in a second. Why are the BBC here, anyway? Why are the BBC here? To document your genius. That's right, to document my genius. And also, 
You just do as you're fucking told. I always give 110% to this band, don't I? What do I get from you, Mr. Big City Smoke? Like 40%, 50% at best? Just fuck off and get some fucking photocopies, you prick. Fuck off. What a prick. What a fucking prick. What do you consider your role in the band to be? Well, Simon says roles are redundant. He, he's a Marxist, you see, so he says it's all for the common cause. We all carry stuff, photocopying, financially. Well, I've been in the band for a few months and um, it's probably been the best few months of my life, roughly. Yeah, it's really nice working with someone that you really respect, but that you also, um, yeah, it's just, it's just really nice. <laughs> she don't listen to a word I say. It's like she's not there at all. Right, that's it. Just fuck off, right? <laughs> well, you just fucking laugh. It's not a fucking joke. It's fucking shit. That was shit. Fuck off. It's not. Get the fuck off. Fuck off. Hurry up, you fucking fuck spanners. You do want to hear me play my fucking songs. You fuck off. All of you, fuck off. Fuck off. Really? Quickly. I'm making a fucking scene. It's better, isn't it? Right. Fuck you. We, we don't subscribe to individual roles. We're, we're more part of something greater than ourselves. That's what Simon always tells us when, when, when he's making us get things for him. Cheer up, you fucks. He's at you, smiling right back. And everyone you line up. And clever or wise, thank you. Demanding, intense, full on. I think those are the words that describe quite more to the best. Fucking hell. That's your fucking fault, that is. That's fucking broken now. Stop looking at me. Fucking hell, I'm fucking sick of this shit. Fuck it. You don't fucking deserve to hear me play anyway. What made you think, I have to put this man's album out? Um, it was mainly persistence from Simon, the constant messaging and uh, just completely telling me how amazing the album was and the concept and it's something that <laughs> I couldn't really refuse after months of badgering. How do you think Americans will react? <laughs> Listen, dude, they're global. America, Japan, China, South America. Who gives you shit? American, British, they're the fucking band. It's 111 songs. A good idea? Great idea. Yeah. Why? Because when, you know, when the Beatles put out the White Album, there wasn't enough songs on there. For you know, for an album, um, so it's important that you get seven and a half sides to an album yeah. these days because people have got more time. And they it, and you know, in the old days, all they had was vinyl players, but now they got um, computers, laptops, iPods, mm. so you can get through these seven and a half albums. Mini disc. Yeah. Some of the people we've talked to have talked about um, quite an intense sexual chemistry between members of the band. Um, is that something that you've observed yourself? Yeah, observed, um, enjoyed almost participated in. It's the following day, and Simon has decided to treat the band on what he has described as a journey to the centre of the brain. Do you guys often go on band outings then? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, we do. I, I think it's really important that we 
bond as a unit and these team building exercises, uh, day trips, I think they're really worthwhile for doing just that. And also, you don't get much mental stimulation when you're stuck in the rat race, isn't it, Matt? The thing about Simon is, well, once he's got you, he, he doesn't really let you go. So what's the plan for today? Probably the fucking woods again. What was that? What was that? Can we just forget about the other night? For Christ's sake. It's around 4.20pm and the band are setting up camp deep in the woods of Monmouth. Now we gathered here today to write some songs about murdered girls in woods. And to help us, I brought a few things along. First of all, got some Amazon juice. Got a motivational boombox here that'll help us all communicate. Yep. And I've got some wigs. I'm not wearing that. Hmm? Hang on, Amazon juice? Yeah. Well, like, ayahuasca? Like Bruce Parry of Tribe? No, oh, just, just drink it, man. It's lovely. It's really lush. It'll give us some good thoughts as well. Really good for opening up <laughs> creativity. It's really nice. Really nice. So, yeah. And, uh... We are ready to go. 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 Let's write some songs, people, huh? Let's write some fucking songs. Thinking about some songs, huh? Some song ideas? It's about time. All right, let's get going. It's already flowing. It's already flowing. Mm. Any song ideas yet? Uh, I got one. I got one. Because dead's just the same as chords, isn't it? So you could just play the chords of dead. So you go like dead, 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 dead girl in the woods. Come on, Johnny, man, we need a fucking riff on top of that. Come on, get us a riff. What's wrong oh. with him? Huh? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> In order to enable full mental stimulation and creative freedom, no. Simon has insisted the camera crew leave the site overnight. Yeah. Expensive camera, okay? Mm. You okay? Face off. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Where's everyone gone? See yeah. Joy. Mm. Shit. Ah! Ah! She's dead. She's dead. It's necrophilia. It's called a necrophilia. Seven. Who? Seven. 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 
in. See, we're gonna go and see how they're getting on. Has he cut himself? Morning, Simon. pen stuck to my hand and my wrist really fucking hurts. I must have been writing for a while. How many how many songs did he manage to write? I managed to write 16 songs overnight. I don't know what these lazy fuckers have been up to to be honest with you. In fact, uh, we need to get on with things. Go on. Go on people. Time to go. Get up! Get up, you lazy bastards! It's time to go. We've got some songs to record now. I've written some songs. I've written some songs. Yeah? You know what that is? You know what a fucking song is? Fucking pricks. Get up! Wake up, you lazy pricks! Probably this way. Are you getting up, you fucks? <sighs> oh. Okay, we tried this three times already now. Let's make this one the one, all right? Yeah? yeah? yeah. Fuck! I'm, so I'm sorry, it's... it's it's not easy. It is easy, though. It's really fucking easy. I don't know why I fucking bother. I mean, for fuck's sake, man. What's wrong with you people? Oh, I'll, I'll get it right this, this, time. this time. No. We're trying to make the most important album in history. You won't get it right next time, because you're not going to get a chance. All right? I'm sick of this. We're trying to make the most important album in modern musical history, and you can't be bothered to press F instead of F sharp. And yeah, yeah you can fucking shut up as well, you fucking prick. You know what? I don't need any of you anyway. I'm just going to go to the cabin in the woods. I'm going to go there, record my album, hunt some deer, and I'm going to do a Bon Iver. That's what I'm going to do. This is Bon Iver. Fuck off, you prick. What just happened? Bunch of fucking pricks. That's what's fucking just happened. No work ethic, no commitment, no drive. Why can't they see exactly what's going on inside my brain? Is that so fucking hard? What are you doing? I'm fucking off. I'm going to the woods. I'm going to record it myself. No PRS, no royalties for them. Fuck them. I'm, I'm not really worried about him. I, I've, I've got faith that wherever he is right now, he's, he's producing the goods. I, I, it, really, it was, it was me that messed up. I, I should have got that F sharp. I just, should, just one out. I don't know. I think maybe it was my fault. Um, possibly. Because um, I told him I didn't want to play the cornet anymore. Sorry. I've worked with hundreds of bands, and I've seen hundreds of them get churned to the industry by the front office bullet heads and the PR tomb diggers. And I didn't want that to happen to them. So I kind of encouraged them to open up and be themselves, not to have their chain yanked, you know? But what, you say they've uh, gone and run off? They're probably doing their own thing right now. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of them. 
111 songs. God, I wonder he flipped out. It was, was a bit strange. We used to call him Nosferati. Hello, Max. Hi. Hi. Um, what was your reaction to being headhunted for the Men album? Um, I was kind of flattered, but at the same time, I would have been pretty disappointed to be left out. And I know that the idea is going to be great when it's finished. It's, it's got to have some weight, because otherwise, why would you, you guys be here filming, filming us otherwise? <laughs> yeah? Did he touch you? He touched us all. And do you think he'll end up, ultimately, with more fans than friends? Um, fans, friends, enemies, I think they're all, as long as Simon's getting attention, I think they all count for the same. Does Simon care? No. Um, do you want a tissue? I'm okay, I'm alright. He'll be okay, won't he? No one knows. After his four-month hiatus, Simon has requested the band's presence for a first preview of the completed album. The band are convening around his mum's house, where Simon is currently staying. Help yourself to some snacks and some drinks. Right. I've been saying all along how we are making the most important album in musical history. And you've doubted. You thought the worst. You don't know the difference between F and F sharp. And you, I don't even know what to say about you. But as we all knew, all along, you can count on me. And what you are about to hear is going to blow your fucking minds to fucking orbit. And that's really far. Are you ready? Anyone? This bit here is the fucking bomb! Okay, Johnny, this is one of yours now. All right, uh, which one? It's the Daily Animals Went Fucking Crazy. It sounds so much better now. Trust me, you ready? Animals going fucking crazy. Yeah? Yeah? What the fuck is this? My, my voice isn't even on here anymore. It's not my song. Please, please turn it off. What? What's the fucking problem? This, this is ridiculous. And this isn't quite in order. Uh, it's nocturnal emissions or sleep farts. Or there's no fucking control. What? Everyone else fucking loves it here. Well, well, that's just really awful. They're too brute. It is shit. What? If it's so fucking shit, then why the hell are these guys here filming it, huh? Why are they here? Do you know why they're here? It's because it's me, because I'm my fucking genius, and because I'm your fucking meal ticket, that's why. Um, well, to be honest, uh, we're only here because Simon's paying us. Well, very good, Ryan. Well, very good. Mm, very funny. It's five grand is what we agreed, right? How are you paying them? Where did you get five grand from? Is this from the bank account? Bandit. Mm -hmm. Bandit. Come on, man. It's, it's, it's gonna be all right. A little bit of teamwork will get for us. It's all right. Yeah, we can do it. We've got a week or so. Yeah, it's only 111 songs. Oh, God. Come on, champ. Let's get you up. Oh, no, I do. 
Come on. <laughs> So here we are again, eight months on. Did you get the album finished? Of course we did. And are you happy with it? Do you know what? A very famous man named Edmund Burke once said, the basis of the sublime is pain and fear. And I think that helps to explain how I've, I mean we've, created what can only be described as a masterpiece. We were driving in our fast car Trying to get very far away Somewhere exotic like Spain Where all the cool kids have rat's tails And it wouldn't be the first time We had to escape from our old life We have a nasty habit Of dragging around some pretty bad baggage As you were signalling to change lanes You were necking pills to calm the pain From the stab wound in your abdomen I should have been driving But I was playing with the radio Looking for a song I'd know So we could sing along And forget everything that went wrong